Hey, yo, what's up, it's your boy, it's Jack and today's going to be talking about the release of Tyron Smith. Uh, I'm just hopping straight into it. I'm at work right now, so I don't really got time to, uh, you know, do a whole show face or anything like that, but I'll probably elaborate it further more tonight when I make a video, but I think uh, the Dallas Cowboys moving on from Tyron Smith is idiotic, and honestly, yes, I still would want to find a replacement for him, like I would possibly, even if he stayed. I would still look for his replacement at 24 in this year's draft, especially with offensive tackles like Fox Zero out of Washington, uh, Jordan Morgan out of U of A. You got a left tackle, I believe, out of Penn State. So you have, so you have Tyler Guyton out of um, OU. So you have a couple of different options that you can go out left tackle. Like if we went like Tyler Guyton for a guy to potentially um, sit behind Tyler for a year, have him develop and things of that nature. And plus he would also get on job experience because Tyler Smith will go down. But if you're the Jones, you can't say that you're all in if you're not willing to pay your uh, star all pro offensive tackle and he only allowed one sack in 13 games last year. And again, that's a tremendous accomplishment for him being almost 14 years into the game and still being an all pro offensive tackle like Trent Williams and for the San Francisco 49ers. But now, furthermore, how this hurts you is that in April, you're forced, if you don't resign him, and you're betting the only left tackle you have on the roster is Austin Richards, I'm not taking a chance, a chance on that. I'm not taking a chance on uh, the let's go with Josh Ball. So then that ultimately means that we're forcing ourselves and wedging ourselves into picking an offensive tackle at 24, which sucks because if you're in the first round, you're going to go best player available because of guys like Cooper DeGene Corner out of um, Iowa. Then if you have Keon Coleman, out of the wide receiver out of Florida State, if you have uh, Mitchell, the kid out of Oregon, you know, you have a lot of, uh, Brian Thomas Jr., you know, Darius Robinson out of Missouri. You got Cooper, uh, I already said Cooper Dugene, but uh, Adrian Cooper, Peyton Wilson, you know, uh, Jeremy Trotters, people are inter interested in him, but I would probably go Adrian Cooper from picking a linebacker in the first round or Peyton Wilson. But, um, this is a coward who's going to fall of doing, and I don't really want to hear nobody saying that he should take a pay cut. Why, if we're the Kansas City Chiefs, yes, take a pay cut because you're winning, right? But you can't be a loser and then in the NFL. You can't be you can't be losing in the NFL and then expecting to take a pay cut. Something has to give. So either we're winning and I take less money, or we're losing and I'm taking more money. So that's how the NFL works, and that's how this business, you know, that's how it goes. But eventually, you know, a lot of great people talk about side cap day in and day out and they said the salary cap is for the future it doesn't hurt the now it hurts the future so signing him to a two or three year deal wouldn't hurt especially if you're drafting an offensive tackle in the first two rounds but um that's about it for the video hope you guys have a nice day stay safe stay blessed bye